Hi, welcome to my tutorial. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to make a lava moving texture like this um, or like this down here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like this. So what we need is we need a few basic shapes. So we're going to take a cylinder, we're going to bring it up, it's going to give us our, our cylinder here. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to control C, control V, copy paste, bring the top, scale it up a bit, there we go, mm, there we go, okay, then we're going to bring it down, okay, then what we need to do is we need to take the middle one, and we need to copy paste, bring out, okay, and that should be good, and then we need to take our meshes, and we need to, oops, one, two, three, we need to highlight them all. Right click, convert actors to static mesh. We're going to call this lava cylinder. I'm sure you got to make the lava texture next. Um, so what you will need for this is some textures off Google. Just type in whatever you want, say lava, and then put texture after it. Then just right click and save the image. So, um, and then save it on your folder. So I actually already have a few textures here. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Um, so I need a metal, a lava, and a normal map. The normal map, what that will do is it will allow us to make the lava look more 3D-ish um, like in here. So you can, just, you can just get any normal map for this tutorial. Um, just search lava normal map on Google and download one of them. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create a lava material. We're going to call it M lava. Okay, and then we're going to drag in our textures here. Okay, bring it in. Go and exit out the old stuff. Just testing some stuff in there. Okay, all right, and there we go. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get something called Panner. And what that is, is it will rotate the images around, okay? And so we need to get texture coordinates for the coordinate. Okay, now what this will do is it'll tile the image. And then we're gonna leave time so it'll uh, empty so it'll go infinitely. And then we're going to take a constant and we're going to put that in and then we're going to call it, well, let's just say it was 0 0.1 so it's not too fast. Okay, so now we take the panner, we bring it in here and bring it into both of them. So let's go ahead and put the normal map in. And then, so as you can see, it's panning. So what we need to do now is we need to multiply by a constant. Uh, wait. Yeah, there we go. So if you want to get this, just hold one on your keyboard and then click. All right. So now that we have that. What we want to do is we want to bring this to probably like one. And we are going to stick this into the emissive color. And now we have our lava texture. Um, we do want to slow this down though, because this is too fast. We're going to do 0 0.05. Uh, let's do a little less. 0 0.01. That should be better. Okay, so 0 0.01, and that is basically it for this. Uh, just get panner, put texture coordinates in, 0 0.01. Now we do want to increase the texture coordinates. We're going to tile it to about 3.0, 3.0, and now uh, let's do 5.0, 5.0. And that will make it look more like rocky lava. Okay, so remember, get the normal map, put it into the normal. Then get the lava texture, multiply it by a constant, and put it into a missive color. And then connect them up to the panel. So that is the lava texture. So now we need a few more things. We need a glass texture, which I'm going to show you how to make. Glass 2. I already have glass texture in this project, so I can find it. Um, okay, so we need a base color. And we're going to make this a smoky, a smoky, mm, let's do a smoky gray like that. Okay, and then we need to go to the material itself. So click on the actual like material thing that says M class two. Click translucent, 
press one on your keyboard and click with a constant, bring that into opacity, bring that to a value of about 0.3. Uh, let's do 0 0.2. Let's do 0 0.4 and see what that looks like. There we go, that's better. Okay, I actually want to make it darker uh, for a more smoky black color. There we go. Okay, so now you have a glass material. That's basically all it is for glass. Okay, and then we need one more, which is a metal material. So I'm going to call this M Metal 3, just in case I have another one in my project. And what we're going to do. So we're going to bring this, this metal texture in that I downloaded, okay? And we're going to just put that into the metallic. And we're going to, let's multiply this by a white so it's more, it's, it's, it's brighter. Uh, so I'm going to get a, a standard texture. This is three, click, three, click. So I know how I did that, okay? So then get a multiply node and put that in D. And then put this in A, put that in material, and do, 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 this should work. Hold on, I think I did it wrong. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we're going to get a constant. We're going to put that into metallic, and we're going to make this one. We're going to give it that metal feel to it. Okay. Then we need to get a texture coordinate. And we are going to put that in the UV. And let's just say 25 by 25. Uh, it doesn't look that good. Let's do five, five. That should be good. Okay, so we have our materials now. So what we need to do, oh, this, that one, is we need to go to lava cylinder, and we need to apply these materials. So I'm gonna see which one this is. So this is which one is this? That's the inside. So that's the lava. Okay, and lava. So we're not going to see it just yet. That's that. We're going to call this metal three. Metal three. We'll fix up that texture. We'll fix that up. Lava. Or no. Glass. We need glass. Glass two. So we have our lava thing here. However, um, it is not tiling properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little material trick here. And we're going to take this out. OK. Uh, let's get, I think it's called right click and type in world align texture. Then right click this and click convert to texture object. Then get a constant. So we need a value for this. Go into texture size. I believe it's texture size. And do, let's say, 100. Okay, and then put the X, Y, Z texture into multiply. And let's look at it. What this will do is it'll wrap it around the mesh in a more um, coherent way. So we need to adjust a little bit. Do 300. Mm, that's too big. I think we need to go lower. Let's do 50. That might work. Mm, it's not perfect. Um, I would recommend going into Blender or Maya and actually animating this, or like not animating, um, actually texturing this properly, like Substance Pan or something. But here we have it. This is the uh, the the lava cylinder. That is the end of the tutorial. If this helped you out, feel free to sub and like the video. Thank you.